we want to solve the given differential equation. Notice the differential equation is in the form of an exact differential equation where m of x comma y is equal to three x squared plus three y and n of x comma y is equal to three y squared plus three x. However, we don't know it's exact until we verify that the partial of m with respect to y equals the partial of n with respect to x. So to begin, we have m of x comma y equals three x squared plus three y. And we have n of x comma y is equal to three y squared plus three x. And now we check for exactness. The partial of m with respect to y is equal to the derivative of three x squared plus three y with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which gives us three. And now we determine the partial of n with respect to x, which is equal to the derivative of three y squared plus three x with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which is also equal to three. So because these are equal, we now know we do have an exact differential equation where the solution is big F of x comma y equals c such that the partial of big F with respect to x equals m and the partial of big F with respect to y equals n. Where again, m is equal to three x squared plus three y and n is equal to three y squared plus three x. And now to begin to determine big F, we can integrate both sides of the first equation with respect to x or integrate both sides of the second equation with respect to y. Let's go to integrate both sides of the first equation with respect to x. This indicates that big F of x comma y is equal to the integral of three x squared plus three y with respect to x. However, when we integrate the right side, we're not gonna have just plus a constant, we're going to have plus a function of y because in order to get big F, we integrated the partial of F with respect to x. And remember when finding the partial of F with respect to x, we treated y as a constant, and therefore we're not recovering the part of big F that is a function of y. So we have big F of x comma y equals Integrating with respect to x, we have three times x cubed divided by three, or x cubed, and then plus three y times x, or three x y, and then plus a function of y, which we'll call a of y. And now we'll use the second equation to determine a of y. The second equation states the partial of big F with respect to y is equal to n. Well, now we have big F, so now we'll differentiate big F with respect to y, treating x as a constant which gives us the partial of f with respect to y is equal to zero plus three x plus a prime of y. And this must equal n, which we know is three y squared plus three x. Analyzing the equation, notice this tells us that a prime of y must equal three y squared. So if a prime of y is equal to three y squared, we can determine a of y by integrating both sides with respect to y. This gives us a of y is equal to the integral of three y squared dy, which is equal to y cubed. So now we know the potential function big F of x comma y is equal to, again, x cubed plus three xy plus a of y and now we know a of y is y cubed, which gives us big F is equal to x cubed plus three x y plus y cubed. And the general solution is big F equals C, indicating the general solution is x cubed plus three x y plus y cubed equals C. And we'll go ahead and leave the solution as an implicit equation. I hope you found this helpful.